here comes thuds. I heard you running down the stairs. You got a big ass. You take after the rest of the family. Now we are gonna be targeting lower bodies. Meow. Honey crisp apple, a drizzle of honey, and cinnamon. Look at my snack. Looks good. Want one? <laughs> wow, it's real good. Probably the content. This is the enemy. This is the enemy, and he needs to be defeated. I'm just gonna do a mask. I don't know. Why not? I've been in a lot of products since I've been home. Fresh Umbrian clay purifying mask. Let's see what this will do. For my friend. This is like a mud mask, so it's gonna suck all the impurities out of my skin. Now that we have absolutely nothing to do, what better time than to just take care of yourself? That's what I'm gonna do. I've been on a binge. I have not stopped eating. Pretty sure my entire last vlog was me eating my way through this experience. I'm gonna reverse it tonight and I'm gonna take better care of myself. I'm gonna eat healthy. I'm gonna work out early. I'm gonna get ready for the day. I'm gonna try and become a little bit more of a professional at this whole working from home, staying at home thing. Heels, calendula, and aloe, soothing hydration mask, soothing. That's been my vibe, especially with my sensitive skin. One of the best things I've ever purchased. This is a face mask brush. Dip it in and spread this on the rest of my face where I am dry AF, which is really everywhere. Like even where I'm getting those breakouts, my skin's just like dry. But then I get oily and then I break out. It's like real weird. I definitely have combination skin, but definitely more so dry. I'm getting right here because that's where all those wrinkles show up. And then they make your highlight look like shit. So I like to concentrate in these areas where I have a lot of facial expression, really hydrate the skin and plump it up and get rid of wrinkles or prevent them, whichever one. Hello, this is my quarantine vlog. If you came here for entertainment, um, it's not that fun. But is yours fun? Tell a girl because I wanna do fun things. I mean, can't complain. I have so many things to do. I have been cranking with my makeup, schoolwork, cranking on it. So I've, I've been trying to be productive, but I just feel like I'm getting in this slump now. Like today I wasn't really in the mood to work out and it wasn't like the first thing I did when I woke up. And that kind of like sets me in a good pace for the day because I really do enjoy working out, but my whole day in a way revolves around me working out because it's like the one thing that I like have to do. Not that I have to, but I want to. And if I don't, I'm very moody. And if I take too many days off, like it puts myself in a really bad mood. Let me know if you're like that. Is that wild? I don't know. And I have mass all over me. I hope I didn't just get that all over the clothes that I just folded. Welcome to my life. Today was the first day that I haven't had a drink in this quarantine. I sound like I have a problem, but in real life, I really like never drink. Like I drink once a week or maybe no, I'll say like twice a week. Friday night, I'll always have like a glass of wine. Well, not always, but most of the time. Eh. Honestly, we're not big drinkers, but there's just really nothing else to do, so. I got these reusable face washcloths. One side is like a rougher texture, and the other side is like a really smooth, velvety cloth. I've been using these to take off my mask, so I just rinse it under warm water, and then I just scrape it off my face, rinse it, scrape it off my face, and then rinse it again, and then switch to the soft side, and then just rub that all over to make sure I get the rest of the mask off, so. Okay, my battery's dying. It's a sign. I gotta go. And I'm gonna go watch Shaw's of Sunset. I got Mike into Shaw's. Love Shaw's. Reza, I live for Reza. Chef Michael, what'd you make tonight? Personal pizza with garlic, onion, olive oil, hot honey, mozzarella, prosciutto, yeah. and a little parsley. It looks really good. I put a little parsley of me on there. Put a parsley of you on there? Just a little parsley. That's cute. Let's see. Whoops. Yum.
Good morning, hello. I'm about to make a golden milk. Mike said he wanted to try one of these. Let me see, I'm trying to like set you up in this kitchen and it's kind of a disaster. I'm gonna make golden milk. I have a small pot. This is my first time making it. Mike wants to drink it, so let's see if we can make it together. I'm pretty sure this recipe that Mike found is from Tasty. Velvety and delicious turmeric drink packed with antioxidants and anti-inflammatory agents. I'm gonna put the heat on low. Two cups almond milk. One tablespoon of turmeric. Turmeric. Get down, senor. This is not for you. Okay. A quarter teaspoon of ginger. Four black peppercorns. A cinnamon stick, one star anise, and a pinch of cloves. That's like a pinch, I would guess. It smells like licorice. I don't like licorice. Me. I can't find the black pepper horns. All right, let's put some black pepper, just like straight up black pepper, because I don't know. Very orangey yellow because of the turmeric. Um, but I'll let you guys know how this goes. I'm not positive that this was a success, but I'm gonna leave it on the heat for a little while and then I'm gonna pour it over a strainer. It's Cheers. Hot, it's not that hot, it's disgusting. It's okay. So you used the video that I sent to you? Yes. And at the end, the video says to sweeten. I put honey in it. So you added honey as the sweetener? Yes. And how much honey did you add? Um, a tablespoon. Into the whole thing. Uh huh. Okay. So we each have a portion of that. So I'll do the same thing. I'll just add more honey tomorrow. Yeah, I guess. Okay, thanks for your input. Thanks for making it. Mm. Look at how pretty that is. Oh, look, you look so cute under that tree. Let's take a picture. So pretty. I am having so much fun with the animals today. And Mike and I put some furniture on the patio, so I'm gonna sit outside. Uh-huh, and that dog hates me. Look at this sunbathing beauty. Living his best life. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Gotta get the back. Wow, he's like knocked out. <laughs> Let's lighten up the mood with some fashion. Um, I'm wearing pajama pants with this, and this is a top from H&M. Cute button down. This is like a few months old though. It still has the tags on it. I haven't worn it yet, but I wore it in a video today. I wanted like a cute throw on. I like, I like shorter things because I'm so short. I don't know, Mike tells me that I should be doing the opposite. Whereas like, I really love crop tops and he tells me that crop tops make me look smaller, but I don't know, it's just like a comfort thing. I like things that are a little bit shorter. So I thought, why not get this really pretty light blue? Great for spring and it also has little holes in it. It's like a lightly woven, so it's not like too heavy. I feel like I could get away with this like during cooler summer nights. I like this, I think it's cute and it's definitely a keeper. I will put all the information down below. I don't know who this is by. Can you tell me? Sister from another mister? Linen and dot, super cute. I like Tahari clothes, especially for work. I really love her pants and I like her T-line. It's like she has different tiers and I think T Tahari is like a cheaper brand. And they're really comfortable and I like that they're high-waisted. I really love high-waisted pants. They're a really nice length on me. Let me see if I can like, I'll move over here. What do we think about these pants? I can't really tell. I need Mike to give me a rundown. I feel like these fit a little bit bigger than the black Tahari ones that I have, but I thought that this color was really fun, especially for the warmer months. And I think this is called cornflower blue. I just worry that it's a little bit too baggy. What do we think? Do we think these are too big? But this is a cute look, you know? You know what I don't like? These don't have loopholes, so I can't even put a belt on these pants. I don't like these, these have to go back. That is really unfortunate. My other ones have loopholes, and being that they're a little 
loose on me i definitely need a belt oh, that is so annoying okay so that was a complete and utter fail because every pair of pant that i ordered from tahari was the same exact style so i'm returning all of them so i'm not even gonna show you but these are the original tahari pants that i own that i love they're a little bit snugger they're actually thinner there's not as much material the other ones felt a lot heavier which would not be ideal in the summer i need to just find these and these have loopholes so i can wear a cute i really love my mcm belt let me show you what that looks this was a belt that I bought myself on super sale a while back, um, and it's just really cute. I love gold, so anything gold, and the M matches my M for Michael because I'm cheesy and I'm girly and whatever. Long live love, what can I say? Okay, it's been a minute since I put some work clothes on. So this is a jacket that I bought also from Tahari. And I like navy and black. I know a lot of people don't, but I like this. Ooh, this is a little heavy though, and I don't really love the zippers on the sleeve it just it feels really heavy right here but i think the fit fits me really really nice and i like that this is an open jacket there's no buttons so it just lays open and i like how it cinches in the waist like that that is super cute what do we think what do we think this is another hari jacket this kind of looks like a outerwear jacket but i love the color what do we think about this? This could be a cute like spring outerwear jacket, faux buttons. And then there's this little clip right here that you just clip them together. Tomboy, trench coat, like business vibes. I don't know. What do we think? Let me look. I don't know. I don't really love this either, but I did get another jacket recently that I absolutely do love. So let me show you guys that. But I got this pretty number. As you can tell, I really love jackets and blazers. It's like kind of my thing. Um, but I got this beauty from Zara. Look at that. Look at that sexy doctor. And I love how this like cinches in the waist. It's so beautiful. And it has rose gold buttons. Here we go. Love this. This is a keep. I bought this. Still have the tags on it though. I haven't had a chance to wear it. And then I have one more thing, which was like a little outlandish. So guys, be sure to let me know what you think. I don't really know how this is supposed to fit. Like I don't really know if these are supposed to be up like this, which if that's the case, like, these shoulders don't fit me but this fits me so nice everywhere else i feel like what do we think it is a jumpsuit and it's kind of like a khaki material this is by aqua but it's just so big up here i'm like wondering if maybe i wear a strapless bra it'll fill this out a little bit i think it's supposed to be like this yeah i think it's supposed to be like this and rarely do i find a jumpsuit that fits me like in here i usually find like i look like i have a penis do i look like i have a penis right now i don't know I feel like my butt looks really nice in this though. I don't know, what do we think? I don't think the top fits me though. And I think if I go with a smaller size, I'm not gonna fit the rest of my body because it is pretty tight. Well, not tight, but it fits like just right, I feel like. Thoughts? Let me know. Kelly, if you're watching this, let me know before I return it. All right, so in conclusion, I think I'm going to return like all of those things except for the cardigan. That is my current thought at the moment. But do be sure to let me know your thoughts down below also. Mike told me that he liked my makeup, which I absolutely hated my makeup today, but I will take the compliment, so I feel good about it. I used some Stila Magnificent Metals, and I think it was like Smoky Storm, Smoke Show, Smoke Something. I'm going to close out this video here because I have been filming for days and days and days, and I think this vlog is going to be a long one so i'm gonna cut it while i can so i hope that you guys enjoyed this one if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up this way i know you like my vlog content and yeah i had a great time as always and i will see you in my next one bye finders